Welcome back, Northern Michigan, to Hometown Highlights, the first of our two district finals editions. As we know, it is ladies' night. Eight girls' games and all we're going to recap, plus all the scores from around Northern Michigan. So stick around with us. We're going to start with a great rivalry, though, Spencer, between the Lady Snowbirds and the Lady Eagles this out was, of the Ski Valley. This is definitely a matchup that I think a lot of people are looking forward to tonight. Gaylord St. Mary won the conference title, but the two teams split in the regular season, so tonight... Yeah, they're going for a little bit bigger trophy for the trophy case. Get a clear-cut winner tonight on a neutral court. A neutral floor is right at Central Lake. Didn't stop the fans from making the 10 or 15 mile trek over though. Everything's pretty close. This one lived up to the height. Bel Air's Leighton Kopke at the top. We'll drive in and find Renee Lalone in the post for the easy basket. Then the Snowbirds look to answer on the inbound. Danica Bebel will get the ball and she's going to send in the post for McKenna Roberts. So quick passing leads to quick scoring. And Bel Air working the ball around this time. They find the sharpshooter on the outside. Tiffany Clovis, deadly from inside the arc. A long two there in that corner. That was the sweet spot. If they were playing horse, they were going to be shooting from there all night long. Madeline Ballin, ball in from three. That goes down pretty well. The Snowbirds, though, they turn to Carrie Borowiak. You knew she'd sneak into the highlight at some point. She's going to get uh, the drop down here to Becca Myler. Myler with the quick footwork and the spinning move. Off the glass, you hear the roar. Fans loved it. She went to the line to add to the scoreboard, but uh, the scoreboard would say Bel Air tonight. The Eagles win this one in impressive fashion. 44-32 to 32 over the rival Gaylord St. Mary. Well, the McBain Ramblers probably gotten out to one of the best starts in the district round so far. Two big road wins in Kalkaska and Traverse City St. Francis tonight. They're at home hosting Glen Lake. Rambler student section now, Brett. They brought the intensity. Second quarter action now. Jordan Poplinski drives to the bucket, number 42, and one for the Lady Lakers. McBain saying, hey, uh, yeah, we can do that too. Kara Hotson gets in the lane and one, helping send their lead. Go back to the other end of the court, Lady Lakers. Kaylee, Kelly Bunnick to Alex Lacrosse, and uh, she's going to get it. Two points, really easy. High percentage shots Glen Lake was getting tonight. And Ramblers, they come up with the steal and they're gonna get out and run. Meredith Hamlet runs ahead of the pack for the fast break lay-in. And the Ramblers, they ran away with this one staying hot. 57-35 tonight. Yeah, they've easily resume-wise played uh, the most impressively so far these girls' playoffs. Well, it was a great week also for Traverse City West. The Titans knocked off Sault Ste. Marie on Monday, and they came up with a huge upset win over 19-2 Marquette. Those two teams north of the bridge, that was Marquette's win on Wednesday in the district semifinal. And now the only thing standing between the Lady Titans and a district crown, uh, that will be big north rival Alpina. Wildcats. Big matchup tonight. Lady Wildcats, they've made a lot of road trips lately in these district playoffs. West yeah. won both games earlier this month. Michaela Ray drives and kicks it back to Kimmy Belinsky for the three-point bomb. And that's just the start of Belinsky's highlights. A long tight inbounds, and there she is, right up in front of everybody else with the easy lay. And then Paris Wagner looking for a shot down low, but she sees an open Belinsky out in the three-point wing. So I'm going to make her the early candidate for MVP of this entire district, if you don't mind me saying. Wagner this time finds her shot, a banker way high off the glass. Checking out Alpina now, a nice baseline runner here from Alexis Smith gets that bucket to go. But ever since Wednesday, you just had a feeling this was West District to lose. And they were at home all week, so they took home that title at home tonight, 38 to 27. Big North Conference champion Cadillac. We've got to keep talking about the Big North. They're up against Sheboygan tonight. Viking student section loud and proud watching this one. Action late in this one. Abby Fuller, superstar with the moves. Triple team, doesn't matter. She finds Hannah Baker for one Chiefs for double, uh, down double digits late, but they're still scrapping Autumn Hudak. Proof of that. And now Fuller again for the Vikes. Makes a nice pass. Moves into the defense. Takes it strong. That was Fuller on the inside. She received the nice pass. Gets the job done. Great footwork by her. Under a minute left here. Claudia Wright gets the and one for the Chiefs. Good effort by the Lady Chiefs, but a little too little too late at that point. Cadillac goes on to win the district at home, 43-29. to Anastasia Chippewa is an impressive team in Northern Michigan. Great student section tonight traveling up to Kingsley for this one against Mason County Central. We pick things up late in the second quarter. Manistee down four. Emily not. Yeah, she, uh, she wipes a little bit of that away. Down one at half. Second half now. Mason County's Kylie Mount. Tough drive to the rim. Uh, then the Chippewas, you knew it was going to come. They start their run here. Emma Burns miss. Annie Fuller board. Gives it right back to Emma. One of those talented, talented sophomores from Manistee. Chips go up five there, and they're not letting up one bit. Emily Thompson, another sophomore. She catches fire. I'm going to show you that one from the corner. And then uh, this is not a replay. This is the very next possession. Same spot, same result. That puts Manistee up by 15. Uh, Spartans, they would crawl back a little bit. Senior Peyton Bladsdale, tough two. And at the end of the third quarter, Makilla Hodges. She's going to clean up this mess. 
put it back in, but this one was all Chippewas. They stay undefeated. Chip, he was loving it tonight. Number one Chip, you love him there. They get the win 46 to 37, district champs. Welcome back to our girls' district final coverage. The Frankfurt Panthers, they went undefeated in Northwest Conference play this season, so they've been a dangerous team. Yeah, very, very talented bunch there. But if they're going to win a district title, they got to go through a tough, tough Bear Lake team. Lost just three games all year, all season long. Yeah, so you knew this one was on the marquee as far as big games were concerned this Friday night. Big venue at neutral site at Onekama. Panthers actually down late in the third. That is still only lost and lights up with the steal and score. It seems to always work. Get, get the aggressiveness ahead of your defender. <laughs> We're tied at 27 at that point. Then Lakers turn to McKay at Grunwald. Scopes out her surroundings and says, I'm going to go inside on that baseline and work the layup. Frank flexing their offensive rebound muscle. Two boards here and put back intense. The second one is good by Cecilia Schmidt. That's what makes the Panthers dangerous. They keep those possessions alive. Back to the Lakers. Alicia Patterson gets the friendly bounce, but at this point in the fourth, it's Frankfurt's ball game to lose. They're starting to pull away. A lost in jumper here gives them a six point nice. edge. You heard the whistle because the free throw gave them a seven point lead, and they go on to win by 10 through the Panthers 45 to 35 to move to the regional round. Great game up north. Two Lake Michigan Conference rivals meeting up tonight for a district clown in Great Class C. Yeah, exactly. Lady Raiders, Charlotte Boy, and Elk Rabbits, Gabby Grade. Pass outside to Madeline Boss, and uh, yeah, that's three points easy. Gray again, this time she's uh, she's feeling a little selfish. She's going to take it herself, turns the shoulder, gets a nice lay in there. Then uh, the Elks are going to go to one of their ballers. This is uh, Granger, Paige Granger. She's going to catch middle of the lane, pull up mid-range jumper. Elks staying with it. Maddie Brown going to bring it up. They're going to run the offense through one of their stars, Bridget Hintz. She's going to catch top of the key, swing it around to Nicole Hill. She's going to miss this shot, but uh, there's Granger again, number 40. Falls into her. Turn, tough shot, Ooh. gets it to go. Kept it alive. Granger again. It's kind of the Granger highlight tonight. <laughs> She's going to stay with it, finds Hill. Back inside, Ranger Hints. She's going to get the nice bucket and the whistle. An impressive road win for the Elks tonight. Yeah, mild upset. 66, upset. flip that score. 66 to 61, Elk Rapids Oh, Charlevoix. Charlevoix. Charlevoix got the victory. The hey. Raiders, Spencer, don't <laughs> steal it from them. Great t-shirts, great win. Suns Bay St. Mary's tonight. Third quarter, Eagles up seven. Lydia Patterson cuts into that. Eagles respond though. Mary Rexstrom, big jumper here. She's gonna pump fake, knock down the mid-range shot. This was back and forth all night. Lady Norseman with it now. Seth Zekman into Patterson, and she's gonna get a nice lay in there. Eagles though, this is a nice possession here. Eagles shot blocked. Ooh, I like D. But by Kelly Patterson, by Hannah Weber's there. She's got her teammates back. She scores it. St. Mary's Eagle wins tonight. Eagles win tonight, 52 to 37, the final. Hey, Eagles flying high. Well, we're going to check the scoreboard and crown our district champions via our fancy graphics. The Clear Pioneers pick up a district title over Big Rapids, 57-37. to Beaverton picks up a Class C district over Beale City, 53-49. Lincoln Alcona down Houghton Lake tonight, 60-40, to while St. Ignace, the Saints. Mike Missigo's big pick for a state title picked up another district title over Newberry this evening, 63-20. Manistee, Catholic Central making two Manistee teams with district titles tonight, along with the Chips, 71-48 to winners over Brethren, Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart. They defeated Big Rapids Cross. Crossroads by a score of 46 to 34. The Posen Vikings, I can hear the horn from here. A great season is getting even better after a district title, 62 to 36 over Onway, while Brimley takes home the district crown over Cedarville tonight, 62 to 39. And Egonite, big winners tonight over Mackinac City by 25, if I do my math correct, 66 41. Pelston Hornets, they won actually a few days ago, but we want to mention them as district champs as well over Harlebur Light Christian in their final, 49 to 39. So there you go. That's all the hoops action we